The dogwood tree has been the trademark of Orleans, Indiana for more than 50 years, but this year the town is marking its 200th birthday. The celebration will keep going almost through the end of the year. WLKY's Lexi Sheen takes us to Orange County, Indiana for a peek at this tiny town's rich history. A little more than 2,000 people call Orleans home, but for a small town, they host lots of celebrations through the year, bringing in more people than actually live there. This week, we'll introduce you to a group that wants everyone to know Orleans is there and ready for even more visitors. It's the feature of this week's Small Town Sunday. Things change. Communities change, but Orleans has pretty much stayed the same. And, and part of the reason is because of this square. Mm -hmm. It's just such a drawing card for our community. In the oldest town in rural Orange County, Indiana, stands Congress Square, a public park that's been there almost as long as the 200 year old community. It was found in 1815 when uh, Indiana was still yet a territory. And the um, lot that we're standing on is called Congress Square. And the founders of Orleans set aside this property uh, with the intent it could be used for anything the territory or the county or the town needed. Since then, the square has essentially stayed the way the founders left it. Congress Square has always been the heart of the little town. It's the gathering place, it's the meeting place, and uh, it's one of the tangible links we have to the town's earliest beginnings. Just across the street is the iconic line of historic buildings along State Road 37. Most of our downtown is intact, and most of the buildings go back to the 1890s. The Orleans community truly appreciates their heritage. We've had two generals, an admiral, and a captain who grew up here and called Orleans home, so that's pretty. Pretty impressive for a small town. They focus on keeping traditions alive, like the Dogwood Festival each spring. Well, back in 1968, we had a movement here in Orleans, a group of ladies that uh, started the uh, planting dogwoods in town. They called it Operation Dogwood. In 1970, the first official dogwood celebration began. From a parade to parties and pageants, the festival has grown and is now a major fundraiser for organizations in town. I've seen estimates in parade day of up to five to six to eight thousand people in town. So uh, it's uh, uh, it's pretty well attended. John Noblet is the publisher of the Progress Examiner, the weekly newspaper in Orleans. It was first published in 1879, and John's owned the paper since the 1960s, <laughs> focusing on life and the welfare of Orleans residents. I have traveled a lot of places, been a lot of places, served in the military, and. I wouldn't live any place else but Orleans. That's the sentiment from many of the 2,100 people in town, a sense of hometown pride where there's just one elementary and high school. I was an Orleans Bulldog. My, my sons and, and daughter was Bulldog, and my grandchildren are Bulldogs. Again, it's just kind of the small town feel, and Orleans is a very, um, someone described it as, as an ideal small town, and I think that's what you see and what you experience when you come to Orleans. If you visit, you'll experience a different way of life. When I go to the larger towns, um, I get a little overwhelmed in traffic because used to, or I'm used to just being behind an Amish buggy or a tractor. There's a large Amish population in Orleans. Seeing a horse and buggy is an everyday sight. It's every day. They're our friends, they're our neighbors. We work together, and um, it's just a great place to be. Lexi Sheen, WLKY News. A bicentennial birthday celebration and parade will take place July 3rd through the 5th at Congress Square. We'll continue our small town tours for one more week. We head back to Orleans next week and learn what the future has in store for the community. If you want to see your small town featured, let us know on WLKY's Facebook or Twitter page.